All right, guys, even here, and in this video, we're gonna watch New York Pro. So the show is done. The winner is Juan Morel. And I was way off with my prediction. I expected James Hollingshead to do much better than this, but he came pretty watery. You can see him on the right. He definitely came off. But Juan, though, Juan looked amazing. Jesus Christ, he was peeled, peeled to the bone. If this guy had a bit better legs, he could win the Mr. Olympia. This is some new level conditioning and fullness. The combination is insane. You have Akeem Williams, who actually placed second, but uh, I don't know about that. I mean, he was big, he was huge, but compare him to Milan Sadek, who was third. So take a look at this. The difference in conditioning was huge. Milan Sadek was way, way more conditioned, but Akeem was much bigger. And I guess mass does play a big role, but I don't know about this result. I maybe would give this place to Milan because he was way better conditioned. So Juan ended up winning the show, very, very deservedly so. Uh, second place was Akin Williams. I don't know about that result. I wouldn't agree with that. Milan Shadek was third in same conditioning. Uh, this is his best shape ever. He was really, really good. Um, fourth place, though, was John De La Rosa. I didn't see this guy for a long time. I knew he trained with Flex Lewis, so it probably paid off. He looked pretty decent. He's not known for being in great conditioning, but he is known for having insane muscle bellies. He has the potential, but he never gets conditioned. But look at Juan's glutes here. God damn. This is paper thin skin. Paper thin. Wow. Look at the vascularity. Nobody here has glutes like this. And even in the Mr. Olympia stage last year, I mean, maybe Sean Roden was up there with him, but I would say Juan has better conditioning. And better fullness, though. As far as upper body, Juan has better body, better upper body than Sean Roden. But not the legs, though. His legs are much weaker. And look at his back. His back is also amazing. He full, thick, so much muscle on that back. Just wow. Just wow. I mean, this physique is really crazy. I just hate that he has such a poor quads. Look at the back. Look at the back. So thick. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, this is his best shape ever, I believe. Yeah. His best shape up to date. And his legs didn't really seem that, that small. I mean, they looked pretty full. They looked pretty good. Which is hard for him to do because his legs are genetically poor. But you can't see, really see that from side poses. From side poses he just looks peeled. He has conditioning. That's his game. He has insane conditioning. And you can see that conditioning from the side very, very well. So many separations. This wasn't even a competition. I mean, Juan destroyed all these guys. By far. Akim was humongous. He's huge. But his conditioning is horrible. Uh, James Hollingshead actually placed 8th. Which, I don't know, I mean, maybe he deserved that, I don't know, but he definitely was watery. He was way off, for some reason. Milan Shadek again, amazing, surprisingly good. Justin Luis Rodriguez placed fifth, and uh, this is him, nothing special here. Nothing new that we haven't seen before. He was fine, he was okay. But Milan, though, look at his chest, how straight it is. Look at Juan, damn, those two guys really blew my mind. Yeah, they really showed the, the best of them. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Tell me what you think about these results. I think that Juan destroyed all these guys and he deserved to win this New York Pro. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.